Praise God. I love that worship this morning. And if you loved it, let's just give God a just round of applause and thank him for it. It was just so nice to see people worshiping, praising God, all in unison. And it was just beautiful to watch this doing this morning. I'd like to invite youth and people that really want to just praise God together with our worship team. We have another couple rows we can add to that back choir. And we can all praise together. Amen to that. This morning, I'd like to share uh, last month. Um, I was I had opportunity to be in South Korea, and uh, we were invited by a church uh, by Pastor uh, Jang Pildo. Uh, amazing church has over a hundred thousand people, and in that church we just had. Uh, if you guys can slow down with the slides a little, but here's a slide of the church inside. Uh, they invited businessmen, and uh, we had about 17 couples. A couple of us were single like me. Uh, <laughs> my wife could not come because she was uh, teaching. And uh, uh, the point of this trip was to inspire us to see how businessmen and how people dedicate their lives, dedicate themselves to the ministry, to the church, to, the, to God, and how they just, everything they have, number one priority to them is church and God. And um, I'm going to try this if this is going to work. Uh, Yuri, I don't know if you had a chance to uh, pop in my little switcher. If not, then uh, we have a little sign that always works too. Um, this is the church that we're at. This is the hotel, actually, the church that we're at. They had an amazing hotel. They bought this building specifically. It's called the Missionary Center. This Missionary Center is Yelev. Uh, we, they uh, fully accommodated all of us, gave us amazing rooms to sleep. Um, and then, uh, keep on going, Yuri, just slide, uh, keep on going. Let me see if this, uh, okay, good, perfect, it's working. So, um, this is just a, a uh, uh, we were at these, uh, because my picture is a little bit <laughs> in scattered order, but don't worry, uh, I'll get through them fast. Um, at the church, they had a lunch for us. Uh, they served us a very nice cafeteria. Uh, they're serving all the people that cannot, you know, have food. They'll come over and give them food. This is actually a Russian service we went to. Uh, on every Sunday, there's so many churches there. And one of the churches there, they have a, a, a service for a Russian uh, shipyard uh, people, uh, sailors. And these sailors, they would come on Sunday. Um, they would preach to them. They were, there was always over 100 people there um, at the sailing uh, at the service, and just you really switch off a little bit by little bit because there's quite a few pictures, and I'll go through my presentation. Um, and these sailors, uh, they're all, almost 90% of them or 80% of them are unchristian. Uh, how they got to South Korea is in South Korea there, uh, they had um, uh, a place where they repaired these Russian ships. These ships come in for three months, four months. Uh, and what they do is they bring in their ships and they completely redo them. Redo the engines, redo the interiors. Because when these ships go out in the sea, they are there for six months. So one of the things that the ship repairing station did is that one of the owners there, he's Christian. And what he did was he made the center. And in the center, he has computers for them to Skype their family. He has uh, a pool table to shoot pool. He has a dentist office. He has a um, uh, massage. He, can, he gives them haircuts. He hired two people, and these two people are from, uh, uh, they're from Uzbekistan, but they speak Russian. And every single day, uh, these people, and you guys can continue switching the pictures. I don't know if you guys could hear me there or not. <laughs> uh, so basically, uh, uh, they feed these people. They give them coffee. They preach to them every single day. Over 100 people come every day to this center. And it was amazing because the owner of this company, this is uh, the manufacturer company there that we were talking about. The owner of the company is Christian. Most of the people there are Christian. And he's financing that all by himself. He's not asking the church to finance it. This is just his personal missionary trip. And every single day we went there uh, to prayer morning, almost every morning. Five in the morning. 
this is a really uh, step of faith for me. Uh, <laughs> we flew in. Uh, <laughs> we flew in at uh, midnight, and they said, told us you can sleep as long as you like, but 4:30 in the morning we got to go to service. So, <laughs> so <laughs> we slept our full four and a half hours. Uh, got ready, went to the service in the morning, and the service there was just uh, over 10,000 people. Uh, youth, uh, uh, young people, from, uh, from students to uh, college people to elder folks. Uh, and this is their morning service. It's completely full, full choir. I think the choir had over 150 people. They had a full orchestra there. They had a full worship band there. They had the full worship team there. And everybody praising God at 5 in the morning. I tell you, it was actually very inspirational. Uh, it just We felt the really presence of God there. And uh, then when they start preaching, um, we had a, there's, uh, before the pastor went up on stage, they had all these kids that came up to the stage. Literally, the pulpit would be in the middle of the stage, and uh, uh, all the kids sat right in front of pastor. Uh, probably maybe, you know, 100 kids or more. And honestly, he preached for almost an hour, and I was just amazed how, like, these four, five, six, you know, 10-year-old kids just sat there for a couple hours listening to the word of God at 5 in the morning. Uh, I mean, a few fell asleep, but, it's, you know, out of 100, it's okay, you know, <laughs> 5 in the morning. <laughs> so, um, and uh, we went to, uh, they took us to different companies. And I was amazed uh, how these companies just prospered. Uh, one of the places that we went to, and this is actually the picture of the actual church. They called it uh, Kovchek, which is the ark. They made the front of it is like the front of the ship. Um, and um, as I see pictures, I'll comment on some of those. And one of the places we went to was, was really, you know, good testimony was the oil refinery company. Very large. And uh, one of the vice presidents of the companies met us there. And they met us there. They made a, a, uh, uh, a big um, uh, banner that says welcome in our Russian language. Like a, all the, a lot of employees came to meet us. Uh, and so he brings us to a special room and he starts talking about his company and said our company was refining only 200 barrels a day of oil. But the president of the company became Christian. His entire board became Christian. And in five years, their company prospered. God blessed him to a point where they were making almost a thousand barrels of oil refining a day. Today, it is the most largest oil refinery company in the world and the most productive they produce oil, paint, uh, tires, uh, uh, different types of, you know, fuel. It's just amazing to see how God blessed them within the short period of time. And I, you know, 100% uh, believe that is because the board and the uh, leadership of the company became Christian. Um, this is a, a, um, a shipbuilding yard. Also, uh, the owner of the company met us. Uh, and it's so humbling to... Uh, meet somebody that has, you know, I believe they have over 5,000 employees at this, uh, uh, if I remember when they told us about. And for the owner just to come out on a regular day and meet us, uh, you know, Ukrainian people and Slavic people uh, that has over 5,000 people and just humbly say, come here. And uh, we're so just amazed you came and we want to serve you, give you a lunch and talk to you about our company. It was amazing because... This also uh, is a huge testimony. This is the most productive shipbuilding yard in the world. They build more ships than any other company in the world. And again, I believe highly that this is because of God's grace and God, just prosperity and blessing in their life. And this is inside that manufacture. I was also amazed, uh, uh, and you know, for our uh, Slavic folks, they would probably think that these people are just crazy. But people got in the waiting line to pay for our restaurant food. And <laughs> we, they knew that we came there as businessmen or uh, people that are not poor. That, you know, we came there to learn and uh, take what, what they're doing and bring it over to the states and try to encourage people and, and just make them, uh, you know, change other folks. And uh, uh, when they had more people in line that wanted to pay for our food <laughs> than we were able to eat. So it was amazing that if today, I'm sure that uh, a lot of us would say, why would we pay for their food? These people have money. They can go buy their own food. But these people, knowing that we came there to learn 
and that we will take this knowledge and take what they're doing there and bring it over to other folks. They just wanted to serve and be part of this missionary, part of this just ministry. Uh, they have in, in that missionary center, um, this is actually inside the cafeteria, the missionary center. Um, every single week, uh, they have a group of folks that cook for missionaries. And this building, I believe, was, I, I believe was around 18 stories high. And all these missionaries live in the center. And every single morning and lunch, there's a group of ladies. Not, it's not the same group. It's every week they change. They cook for all the missionaries. And this is one of the mornings where they cooked for us. Um, and they were just doing it with such happiness, such great love. Uh, I'm just standing there to make sure everything's okay. Uh, so <laughs> make sure nobody leaves hungry. So um, it was just amazing to see how people uh, just dedicate their life, dedicate, serve. Another great ministry uh, that we went to um, was uh, there's, we went to quite a few doctors. And a lot of these doctors are constantly serving people. They bring them in. Uh, if you have no money, no problem. They'll, they'll minister to them. They'll, they'll help them. They'll, you know, they'll fix their teeth. They'll give an operation. One of the ministries there, as we were there, there was uh, Peter from uh, California. And um, uh, he uh, was doing dialysis for many years. I, don't, I, I believe he said five to ten years, something in that range. His kidneys don't work. And um, God told the pastor of John Pildo that, you know, you need to pay for his changing his kidney. And when we were there, he was actually in a recovery stage. And I talked to him. And he says, yeah. He called me. And he says, I want to, you know, pay. Come here to South Korea. I want to do, we want to pay and change your kidney. So, and it was just amazing because it was three months. He was almost done recovering. Um, and just God miraculously, you know, just did a miracle in this person's life. Um, you know, there is no way he can afford to do that. Uh, but his kidney got changed. He's like, wow, for three months I haven't been doing a single dialysis. It's unreal. So it was a really, praise God, uh, for just such churches uh, that really dedicate their life. And uh, they have 100,000 people again. Um, 100,000 faithful, faithfully tithing people. If you don't tithe, you can't be part, you can't be a member of the church. <laughs> so imagine how much more people just come there that also, you know, just, uh, you know, guests. Or, uh, but I'll tell you, it was such an inspiring um, a trip for me. Uh, it look, after seeing what they do, uh, I, you know, it looks like I need to do much more. So, <laughs> and uh, I think all of us, just just take that into and even even small things like uh, drivers every day we had multiple drivers and uh, whenever we uh, I would talk to these drivers and I say listen you know what do you do he says yeah I have about 50 employees I have a small little company you know they asked me just to drive you guys so uh, thanks thank you for this opportunity I really want to do this for you guys and a lot of us here you know I don't know how many of us have 50 employees but, you know, we would say, man, hey, find somebody in church that, you know, is not doing nothing. Give him, he can drive a car. But this is just shows the example. It doesn't matter how low the position is or how high the position is. Their heart is to serve. And if it's to serve, it doesn't matter what you do. It's for God. Uh, thank you. And I, if you guys don't mind, uh, I'd like to do a prayer. Uh, thank God for the trip. Uh, Yuri, next Sunday, Yuri Kochlan, he went there with us. Uh, not only that, he went with us. His and he and his wife had an anniversary. Uh, uh, Yuri, how many years anniversary did you guys have? Twenty-nine. So uh, we uh, oh, somebody got him a cake there. Uh, the uh, head of the ch uh, the church pastor prayed and blessed them there. Uh, Yuri did an amazing uh, speech there. He, pr he he preached at the Russian service. You know, people came to God during the service. It really touched a lot of hearts. People were coming up and asking us a lot of questions. So uh, it was a good, just inspiring uh, just trip. If you all get up, I would do a short prayer.